I am honored to have the opportunity to speak to you today about the topic of fractional factorial design using Minitab. This is a subject that holds great importance in the field of research and analysis. Fractional factorial design is a type of experimental design where experimenters perform only a selected subset or fraction of the runs in the full factorial design. This approach allows researchers to efficiently study the effects of multiple factors while conducting fewer experiments. Fractional factorial designs are indeed a great option when resources are limited or when dealing with a large number of factors in a design. By using fewer runs than full factorial designs, they offer a more efficient way to conduct experiments. One of the main applications of fractional factorials is in screening experiments, where they can help identify the most important factors to focus on for further investigation. The symbol of fractional factorial designs is typically represented as the symbol, where n is the number of factors and p is the size of fraction. This symbol signifies the reduced number of experimental runs required for a fractional factorial design compared to a full factorial design. The quality improvement team wants to determine the lowest void percent based on multiple factors such as flow rate, material, agitation, temperature, and time. The team decided to choose a 16-run half-fraction design because they assumed three-way interaction and above are negligible. Analyze the data from this experiment. Plot the main effect and interaction plot. Analyze the residuals from this experiment. Choose STAT DOE a factorial a create factorial design. Choose two level factorial, default generators, from number of factors, choose five. Click designs. In the designs box at the top, highlight the row for a half fraction. Complete the dialog box as below. Click OK in each dialog box. The table presented here displays the outcomes of the design experiment regarding void percent. Standard order is the typical order of the experimental runs. Run order is the order of the experimental runs. Choose STAT the DOE factorial analyze factorial design. Complete the dialog box as shown below. Click Terms. Verify the dialog box appears as shown below. Click OK. A Pareto chart of effects shows which terms contribute the most to the variability in the response. The terms from top to bottom in decreasing order of importance. As we analyze the Pareto chart, we can clearly see the absolute value of the effects, providing us with valuable insights into where our focus should lie. In statistical analysis, any effect that extends beyond the reference line, 5.30 is considered statistically significant. The Pareto chart shows that material, temperature, time, BD and DE significantly affect the mean of void percent. We exclude the non-significant term and refit the modal. This process will help us focus on the most relevant factors and improve the overall performance of the model. Click Terms. Under Selected Term, Remain Main Effects, BD and DE. Click OK. Remove the main effects, A and C that are not significant and refit the model. Click Terms. Under Selected Term, Remain B, D, E, B, D and DE. Click OK. Click Graphs. Under Effects Plots, check Pareto. Under Residual Plots, check 4 in 1. Click OK in each dialog box. Any effect that extends beyond this reference line, 2.23 is statistically significant. The effect plot from the reduced model indicate that all remaining terms in the model are significant. The effect for a factor represents the predicted change in the mean response when the factor changes from the low level to the high level. It's important to note that effects are twice the value of the coded coefficients. This relationship allows us to quantify and measure the impact of a factor on the response. Furthermore, the sign of the effect indicates the direction of the relationship between the term and the response. The coefficient for a term represents the change in the mean response associated with an increase of one coded unit in that term, 
while the other terms are held constant. Furthermore, it is important to note that the size of the coefficient is half the size of the effect. In addition, to minimize multicollinearity among the terms, the coefficients are all presented in coded units. Material, temperature, and time exhibit statistically significant effects, as their respective p-values are less than the specified alpha level. This indicates that changes in these factors have a significant impact on the response variable. Furthermore, the interaction effects between material and temperature and interaction effect between temperature and time also demonstrate statistical significance at the alpha equals 0.05 level. Multicollinearity is a crucial factor to consider when conducting regression analysis. It is measured using the variance inflation factor, VIF, and high VIF values indicate strong correlations among predictors. This can result in unstable and unreliable regression coefficients, making it difficult to interpret the impact of individual predictors on the outcome variable. A VIF of 1 is a positive indication for regression analysis, as it suggests that the independent variables are not correlated with each other. A VIF value greater than 5 or 10 indicates a high level of multicollinearity, suggesting that the independent variables are highly correlated with each other. The coefficient of determination, commonly known as R-squared, is a significant statistical metric used to gauge the extent to which the variation in the dependent variable is explained by the regression model. In the context of the specific model being discussed, it is reported that the R-squared value is 97.05%. This means that the model accounts for 97.05% of the variation in the response variable. While the traditional R-squared value assesses the proportion of variation explained by the model, the adjusted R-squared takes into account the potential impact of adding more predictors. When new variables are added to a regression model, the traditional R-squared may increase regardless of whether the additional variables actually contribute to the model's predictive power. This can be misleading, especially when working with a large number of predictors. The adjusted R-squared value will only increase if the new variables significantly improve the model's performance. When evaluating the predictive ability of a model, R-square, predicted, is a valuable metric to consider. A larger R-square, predicted, value indicates that the model has better predictive ability for new observations. However, it's important to also consider the adjusted R-squared value. While the adjusted R-squared value helps to provide an accurate measure of how well the model fits the current data, the predicted R-squared value goes a step further by indicating how likely it is that the model will be accurate for future data. The table of unusual observation indicates that observation 9 is an outlier because its residual is more than two standard deviation from the mean of zero. Residual analysis Residual analysis is a crucial technique in regression modeling to assess the validity of the chosen model. In statistical analysis, errors or residuals play a crucial role in evaluating the effectiveness of a model. These discrepancies between the actual and predicted values provide valuable insights into the quality of the model's fit. By examining the residuals, Researchers can identify patterns or trends in the data that may have been overlooked during the initial analysis. The assumption of residual plot is a fundamental concept in regression analysis. The first assumption of residual plot is that the residuals should be normally distributed. Another assumption is that the residuals should exhibit constant variance, also known as homoscedasticity. Additionally, the assumption of residual plot includes that there should be no pattern in the residuals. For the normal probability plot, the points on the normal probability plot roughly follow a straight line, you can assume that the residuals do not deviate substantially from a normal distribution. Histograms are a useful exploratory tool for analyzing the characteristics of residuals in a statistical model. They provide a visual representation of the typical values, spread, and shape of the residuals, allowing analysts to identify any patterns or trends. In this case, the histogram of the residuals shows no outliers, 
indicating that there are no unusually large or small residual values that could significantly impact the model. Residuals versus fitted values. Upon examination of the data, it is evident that the constant variance assumption remains unviolated. This conclusion is drawn from the observation that the residuals display a random scattering around zero, and their dispersion appears to be consistent across all fitted values. In a residual versus order plot, it is essential to assess the pattern of the residuals to ensure that the assumption of independence is not violated. Upon examining the plot, it is evident that the residuals fluctuate in a seemingly random pattern around the center line. Specifically, if the residuals systematically exhibit a decreasing, increasing, or sudden change as the order of the observations increases from left to right, it suggests a pattern or correlation within the data that contradicts the assumption of independence. Choose STAT DOE factorial factorial plots. From response, select void percent. Under variables to include in plots, move temperature and time from the available list to the selected list. Click OK. The main effect of a factor is the average influence of a change in the level of that factor on the response. The main effects plot indicates that both material, temperature and time have significant effects on void percent. The void percent increases as you move from the low level to the high level of the temperature. The void percent increases as you change from material A to B. The void percent reduces as you move from the low level to the high level of the time. Choose STAT DOE factorial contour plot. From response, select void percent. Under select a pair of variables for a single plot, select temp under x-axis and time under y-axis. Click settings. Under hold factors at, select material A, click OK in each dialog box. Use a contour plot to show the relationship between factors and a response. The contour plot shows that the lowest void percent was obtained using temperature of 180 and time of 6 while holding material A. Response optimization, also referred to as parameter optimization, plays a vital role in various fields such as engineering, science, and business. It involves the systematic exploration of different variable settings to identify the combination that maximizes a single response or a set of responses. Choose STAT DOE Factorial A Response Optimizer. Complete the dialog box as below. Click OK in each dialog box. After analyzing the optimization plot, it has been determined that the optimal settings for the predictors, given the specified parameters, are material A, temperature 180, and time 6. These settings have resulted in a desirability of 0.9289 for the data. The goal of the optimization was to maximize the mean of strength, and the predicted value at the optimal settings is 48.6250. Composite desirability, D, is a powerful tool for evaluating the overall effectiveness of a set of response optimizations. With a range of 0 to 1, desirability offers a clear indication of the degree to which the settings meet the desired outcome. A desirability score of 1 represents the ideal scenario, where all responses are optimized to their fullest potential. On the other hand, a score of 0 signals that one or more responses are outside their acceptable limits, highlighting areas in need of improvement. The composite desirability of 0.9289 suggests that the settings are likely to produce favorable results for response. This indicates that the chosen parameters are effective in achieving the desired outcomes as a whole. Fractional factorial designs offer a practical solution for experiments with limited resources or a large number of factors. By performing only a selected subset of runs from the full factorial design, researchers can still obtain valuable information while conserving resources. These designs are particularly useful for exploring the relationship between factors and a response, which can be visually represented using a contour plot. In cases where the system exhibits curvature, a second-order polynomial model may be necessary to accurately capture the relationship. Thank you for your support. 
I'm glad to hear that you enjoy my YouTube channel.